This is the RLPA Dream Team of 2023. Andrew Johns and Brad Fittler are here with me. And boys, the peer voted awards are the ones that mean the most to the players. Sure does. Absolutely. Let's have a look at the uh, criteria, first of all, for the RLPA Dream Team. Voting's open to all contracted NRL players. Players give one vote to a player in each of their nine positions. Players can't vote for their own teammates, which is important. The, the uh, one player with the most votes in fullback, 5'8", halfback, hooker and lock positions is in the dream team. And then two players with the most votes from centre, wing, prop uh, and second row also make it. Let's start with fullback, the nominees this year. Gee, it's been a wonderful year for all the fullbacks. Caelan Ponger, mm. Dylan Edwards and Reese Walsh, gentlemen. Wow, and we get to pick one. Well, just a comment on... Do I need my glasses to read this? Sure. Well, Dylan Edwards is Dylan Edwards. Nothing changes there. Every week it's it's a seven or eight out of ten. Yeah. Kalen Ponga, the last ten weeks, without doubt. Out of this planet. I don't think you know Hayne went on that run. Yeah. I think this may may be close. Turbo. Turbo. Brett Mullins in the mid nine. The Kalen out of this world. The Reese Walsh. We're talking about a player, a once in a lifetime player. Yeah. I'll go Reese Walsh. The winner of fullback in the Dream Team for 2023 is Reese Walsh. Wow. So he's our first player through. Wingers, the nominees, Jermaine Asako had a wonderful year for the Dolphins in their inaugural season. Your Selman Cobbo, Dallin Wateni Zalesniak, and Brian Tottle. Some great finishes amongst uh, that lot. No Dominic Young? Mm, no Dominic Young. Mm. I already go Jermaine Asako as one of them. The fact is he broke all the records. Mm. Broke all the records. And the other ones, Brian Toto, he's just a beast. Always reliable. Yeah. Cobbo, he's one of my favourites to watch Cobbo. He's good, isn't he? Because he can play in front of 90,000 at Wembley or 50,000 at Suncourt. And it's like he's playing in the park in Cherbourg. He's just a natural player. So the wingers in the RLPA Dream Team this year are Brian Toto mm -hmm. and Dallin Watene Zalesniak. Wow. One for the New Zealand Warriors. He's been inspired mm. for them this year. The Lionel Richie of New Zealand with that. Curly hair. Yes, and his season might get better with uh, with victory in the finals coming up this week. Centres. Mm -hmm. Campbell Graham, Herbie Farnworth, Joey Manu, Stephen Crichton. Well, Stephen Crichton. Stephen Crichton. Walk up. Has this been his best year? Yeah, do you think? Yes. Yeah. It's nothing better than watching a young player improve. Mm. Well, he was playing rep footy a couple of years ago, and then it's just got and getting better and better. So I think Canterbury. Have, on a winner there. Mm -hmm. And I've got to say the other one would mine would be well Joey Marnie hasn't played half the season and Campbell Graham's been busted the season so yeah, Campbell Graham's back end, he had that sternum injury. Mm. Herbie, Herbie Farnworth. Yeah. He's a gun here, Herbie Farnworth. Herbie Farnworth and Stephen Crichton make up the centres and Herbie's off to the Dolphins next year, yeah. isn't he? Him and the front the banana farmer. Flegler. Flegler. And Avarillo, they've they've got some star power there. They've got a fast team now. Yeah. Five-eighth of the year nominees. Joey's favourite number six these days. Ezra Mam. Yep. Cody Walker. Done. Cameron Munster. Ooh. If this was done after Origin 3, you'd say Cody, but South had a poor back end. Mm. I'd probably go Ezra Mam. Jeez, he's playing mm. defensively. He'd be the best defensive five-eighth in the comp. Yep. How old is Ezra Mam? No, he's only a baby. Early 20s. Yeah. I'll go Ezra. It's Cameron Munster. What? Where's this Munster? Player voted, so. Is Munster watching this? You're going to have a go this week, Munster? Against the Roosters? I can say that. He gave me a hard time on the Sunday footy show, remember? Did he? Have a go, Munster. Okay, you are an immortal. Yeah. Halfback. Three obvious ones, isn't it? Daly Terry, Evans, Sean Johnson, Nathan Cleary. Ooh. Ooh. If you're a player, who would you be voting for in this? Well, if you think about every player, would have played against the Warriors, mm -hmm. and Sean Johnson would have been the best player. Mm. If you're playing Penrith, Nathan has a big impact, but um, after they've, Origin, got, they've got more balance. After mm -hmm. Origin, and plus Nathan missed a lot of games too. The, after the Origin series, I'd probably say DCE. Mm -hmm. Thought he was unbelievable. Mm. And I guess towards the end of the year, he carried that manly team. But I'd, I'd go Sean. Sean. Well, the age of 35, DCE is the manly player of the year. Is but Sean Johnson is the RLPA halfback. He's uh, daily 35. Yeah. Wow. He's going so good. Yeah. He was oh. very good. He played his 40. 
Yeah, you see like a bit of motivation. Went away with Australia. Nathan then again the position. Bang, just triggers him again. Mm. He won the premiership in 2008. Eight. <laughs> still yeah. wow. still yeah. going. That puts it in perspective, doesn't it? Props, two of them. Payne Haas, Tino Fasuamala Awi, Adam Fanil Blake and Lindsay Collins. Well, Payne will be the front row for the next 10 years, so Payne. You were on the, the opposite side of things with Lindsay Collins for Queensland this year. What an unbelievable series. I think I'd go Lindsay. He was Payne. unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Brought it back to his club. Yeah. Like how many times has he ran people down? How many times has he dived on balls? Made big runs? He has been awesome. Gone to another level. And mate, the, what the, from? What's the, what's taking him to the next well, level? Well, the sales of avocados <laughs> since Victor's interview have just gone through, through the roof. Yeah, yeah. Senor Avocado. That's yeah, his name. if they couldn't weren't expensive enough, they've gone through the roof now. Uh, he's missed out, boys, because the props are Adam Fanua Blake. Oh, he's right. been yeah. He's been good. I Excellent. think Lindsay's been the best. Mm. And especially Jared's missed a fair bit of footy. So on the weekend they had Egan Butcher, Victor, and Terrell. No, but to start the game, lightweight middles, mm. Lindsay, he did a lot of the donkey work. Your Even complexion's improved a lot. Have you been investing in the avocado no. strategy yourself? They excite me. Even Butcher took well, the cut up off the kickoff. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Even Butcher would be 95 kilo, wouldn't he? Yeah. Blokes had a tackle him at 115, mm. getting a free shot at him. Pretty brave. It's a great field for the hooker in the RLPA mm. Dream Team. Now, Abi Corusau in a team that finished last mm. was sensational. Well, he played halfback towards the end. Wade Egan gets a nomination, mm. as does Harry Grant. I'll Harry. tell you who's overlooked here. Billy Walters. He's had a great year. Phoenix Crosland. Phoenix, Phoenix only played the, half the, the season. Last, the yeah. last ten weeks. Mate, Billy, Billy Walters, Walters super year, hasn't he? he yeah. has just not overplayed his hand. Very rarely does he take a wrong option. Outstanding. Uh, Harry Green, you can't pick Harry. someone out of the West Tigers. Yeah, I love Happy, but Harry, Harry's the man. You Harry can't. is our hooker. Second rowers: Britton Nikora, Liam Martin, David Fafita, and Hamoli Olukawatu. Uh, Liam Martin, Liam for Martin. sure. Mm -hmm. Lock him in. Same again. Olukawatu is it? And who else? Fafita, Fafita, and Nikora. I'll go Olukawatu. Well done, Andrew. Olo Kawatu and Liam Martin. And the nominees for the lock position in the RLPA Dream Team. Isaiah Yo, Patrick Carrigan, Tohu Harris. Ooh, Tohu Harris. Oh, he's missed a few games as well, Tohu. Yeah, the knee towards the end mm. of the year. I'll go Carrigan. I think you'll captain Australia one day, Paddy Carrigan. He's a good player, isn't he? Mm. Well, Brad's got a player named after Isaiah Yo. Yeah, myself is a very reliable player. It's Patrick Carrigan. You might have to name a plan after him. Right so that's our dream team. Should we go through it? Reese Walsh, fullback. Dallin and Brian Toto are the wingers. Herbie Farmworth and Stephen Crichton are the centres. Cameron Munster and Sean Johnson are the halves. Now that would be a great halves combination. Mm. Payne Haas, Adam Fanil, Blake, the props. Harry Grant's the hooker. Hamoli Olikawatu, Liam Martin, the second rowers. And Patrick Carrigan is the lock. There so, you go. Not a bad spine. Walsh, Munster, Johnson, Harry. I don't know we could fit that one under the cap. Well, some clubs could. That's our RLPA Dream Team for 2023.